How did the Prophet ﷺ deal with nine wives? Imagine, and they all fought over him. And they caused him a lot of problems and trouble and headache. How did he deal with that? Did he favor one just to be safe and lose the headache? No. He was fair with all of them. Mother Aisha says, every single day, the Prophet would drop by all of us and he would come to each one of us houses until the night he is with that person, with that wife. So all eight, he would go, Salaam Alaikum, how are you? Salaam Alaikum, how are you? Everything's fine, chit chat with her. And also the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasalam, as uh, Aisha uh, uh, narrated, whenever it was sunrise, yani after Fajr, after sunrise, the Prophet would go to his wife's house one by one, giving salam and making dua for them. And then he settles with the one he is sleeping at her house at that day. And, and when it's Asr, now he would prolong this. So he would go to one by one, sits for five, ten minutes, <coughs> chit chats, how is everything, and then goes to the one he is sleeping uh, um, at her house. And finally, when he got married to Zainab bint Jahsh, may Allah be pleased with her, his, his cousin. After consummating the marriage, he went to visit all of his wives. The same night, after consummating the marriage, he went to visit. And what did he say? He would enter the house, give salam. The wife would return the salam and wouldn't say, how dare you? You cheated on me. You got married again. I hope, I wish, I do. Making dua against him? No. These were civil people. He would give salam. The wife would return the salam and say, how did you find your new wife? May Allah put barakah in your marriage. Dua. Subhanallah. This is how they lived and coexisted and lived a happy marriage. And this is what we should do if we were to have a good marriage, an everlasting marriage, a marriage that, as they say, until death does us a part of whatever they say, truly with respect, with a, a high level of communication and with lots of love and compassion. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.